Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we will be playing some Forza Horizon 5. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now but I didn't get it out on time when I wanted to get it on time so I'm sorry about that. I've been postponing the voiceover until today which is Tuesday and it was supposed to be out on Sunday so I'm really sorry about that. So in this video, I'll finally be buying my dream car in Forza Horizon 5. This is a car I want in real life as well as in game. And today I'll be customizing it, driving it. And I did do some tuning on the car, but apparently the video did not get recorded at all because my game did crash at one point and I was unable to get back the footage. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, let's have a look and see how I get on. Oh, also I think some of the um, footage from when I was designing the car has also gone missing. So I'm sorry about that. I think there's some footage at the beginning, but not the end. So these are all just kind of disclaimers for what I have and what I don't have. Thanks to Xbox's recording abilities not being the best. But yeah, let's get right into the video and let's go straight to Forza Horizon Festival to pick up the car. So now we are at Forza Horizon Festival, the closest one to my property and I will scroll along and purchase the vehicle now. So here it is, as you can see I purchased a BMW M1 Coupe and this is my dream car because I've always loved BMW and this is just the one that I've always wanted ever since they came out pretty much like it is just my dream car like I know it's not kind of typical dream car for most people but this, <laughs> this is just something I've always wanted. As you can see, it looks really, really good and unlike in real life, in Forza, I can actually look inside this vehicle and I can see what it looks like inside, which is great for me because I do actually want one of these vehicles at some point. So I do actually want this in real life, but I don't want the M1, I want the Web Series Coupe because it's a lot cheaper and more affordable for me. Insurance companies tend to be more lenient when it comes to coupe cars because generally speaking they're smaller and to them that's a good thing for your first car. The only thing about the 1 series coupe is it costs like 5 grand like the cheapest automatic versions I found is like about 5 grand but if you want a manual you can get it down to about 3 grand and the insurance is fairly cheap so if you want a very very good car and you don't want to spend a lot of insurance but you don't mind paying that extra penny just for the full thing then this is a very very good option so now i will let you quickly take a listen to how the car sounds as it sounds amazing on stock as well So now what I am doing is I am going to test the vehicle in its stock form and I'm just going to do that by doing a pretty normal race just so I can see what it's like around the corners like what it's like down straight like you know just kind of find out its basic properties. Basically at this point I don't have many bad things to say BMW at stock is a very great car the performance is great and yeah pretty much everything and i don't think i'd really need to do too much 
At this point, I am actually wanting to make a drift build with this car because I want to make a drift build as it's a BMW and that's kind of what they're good at doing. And yeah, you know what I mean. But we're coming towards the finish now and I finished like 6 which is just not too good at all but <laughs> it's fine. It's stock, okay? So now we are actually designing the visuals of the car. I lost a lot of the tuning, but basically I put a very, very basic drift build on this that I followed online. And don't follow the drift builds online because this ended up being not too good. <laughs> too good of a drift build. And I think it has to be a lot faster. Like they didn't really change the speed or anything when it came to the build. They just kind of gave you the basics i think you really need to make the car a little bit faster here if you really want to get a really great drift car my favorite color ever is pink and i really love sanrio i love hello kitty and my melody and all that kind of stuff but i decided i wanted my car to be something that i could replicate in real life and something that's actually doable without costing a fortune so this is it this is my bmw and also i added the choco cat because my cat's called kuro and he's black okay <laughs> i have to add the black kitty cat on the roof but let's have a whole listen to the car now that it has the drift build on it it still has stock engine i'm pretty sure actually i think it's got twin turbo now turn around when it is safe to do so Basically this drift build is horrible and I'm sorry about that guys but it does sound pretty good now and uh, I'm happy with how it looks as well. I will fix the drift build off, off um, YouTube as well but I may update what happens to the build on Twitter so make sure you follow me on Twitter. Anyways thanks for watching the video guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Capiche?